This is your wake up call. This is your alarm clock. It don't even matter if you're asleep. You can be awake. I'm more awake in my sleep than most people are awake when they woke. But wake up. It's time to get woke. Shook up. <laughs> I ain't, uh, I ain't want to say nothing but the truth. So, the truth will set you free. Say, what's in your hands? What's in your wallet? I'll tell you what's in my hand. What's in my hand is black power. Because I'm getting out to the masses to wake y'all up. I mean, I'm calling it black power, but I'm going to call it brown power. <laughs> Let's call it the power that ain't the other man. <laughs> Let's call it power. And he ain't talking about the TV series. It's time to wake y'all up. We've been begging for the wrong thing for too long, for, you know. I'm not begging for the wrong thing, but we didn't just take matters in our own hands and do it and take the thing. But now, America is in a unique position or predicament to some folks. To you and I, it might be a unique position because if the, uh, the establishments are crumbling, well, hell, you and I were in, uh, it didn't affect us none. It affected them. We're just going to go over to the next establishment that's crumbling. But why can't we just do a thing ourselves? If we could just pick up the reins. We was running the stores for the people. How come we can't own the store now? They crumbling and they stumbling and they're going to misuse these funds that the government's giving them. I've heard uh, talk of instead of them paying their employees, keep their employees fed and roofs over their heads. No, they want to they wanna hold on to that money so when things get back to rocking, they can uh, get back to stocking. And the employees still got to wait. And some of them still might not get paid. And then they still go to these little uh, chump change courts and uh, do everything right, fill out all the paperwork, you know. And... Uh, people don't show up. And then what they got to do, they got to fill out the paperwork, they got to wait, and people don't show up. And then when the people do show up, they make fake promises, and then you still don't get what you're supposed to get. So, why wouldn't you just get it for yourself? I say there's a, there's a, there's an empty building right there. And Mr. Yang been uh, telling black folks for years, Oh, I'm sorry, you four pennies short. You come back later. Uh, I mean, now, come on, now, that's happened to me. Mr. Wayne followed me all over his store, all over the store. Gonna steal something? Man, I'm paying with credit cards. You know not to be carrying no large amount of cash in the hood any damn way, dumb motherfucker. And so he wanna say, uh, uh, well, no, sorry, we we know I have change for a $50 bill, $100 bill. So, okay, if you don't have change for the $100 bill, then you let me go for the four cents. That's what you do. Two pennies, two shiny penny, two shiny copper penny. You know, everybody know what a penny look like. It look like where well, you have to, well, if, if Abraham Lincoln... Uh, uh, had locks on there. It would look just like Jesus. They said Jesus had uh, uh, skin like copper, hair like wool. I guess it looked just like Jesus. Well, maybe that was uh, Mr. Wayne's way of uh, uh, loving Jesus. Or was he just loving that money? Well, I tell you what, they crumbling. <laughs> I kind of want to put that in the song. They crumbling, stumbling. Uh, and it's time for you and I to pick up the reins. Uh, why we want to catch them slipping? Uh, they, you, they slipping. We done caught them slipping. 
They got a one-time loan from Uncle Sam saying, here you go, man. Go over there and uh, buy you a chunk of property somewhere and start your business. And uh, uh, Mr. Wang say, well, I can't afford to go in the white neighborhood. It costs too much. Well, they having a good deal over in the black neighborhood. I think I'll take that. He didn't know. He from Hong Kong. If you went to Hong Kong, you wouldn't know where to go either. You'd be over in Mr. Wang's po-ass neighborhood, you know? But Mr. Wang got him that uh, got that Mercedes note that he can't pay. It's getting, is I'm, they stumbling. He can't pay that uh, big-ass uh, mortgage in the, uh, in the Jewish neighborhood. And they didn't want him there to begin with anyway. And mom and daddy had the money a long time ago because they caught him stumbling, stumbling. And actually, come way back, way back, way back. This always been them. We always been working for them. We, we, we always been the, uh, um, well, you know, I ain't going to put it like that today. But yeah, they know what they were. So, um, <clears throat> um, because it's like Malcolm X said, he, he wouldn't... Uh, 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 slander a person by calling them a, 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 um, a, a words uh, that might offend them, but he said he will. Uh, he will uh, at the time call uh, because they had different views, but they had the same objective. And when they got together, they found out. Um, he's uh, uh, as far as uh, him and Uncle Martin, but I'm just saying um, we don't know. Uh, where the hearts is at but I do know that everybody can step up to the plate everybody's welcome to come because this is a this is a war on poverty this is a war on hunger this is a war on self esteem this is a war on saying you're a second class citizen and you can't be much more than that. This is a war on you can pull me over and detain me or you can talk to me with uh, respect and dignity. Or you can look at me and say if I open my mouth I'm going to jail. But who do that who do that the most? For the man. Well, uh, back in the day. Who do that for the man? We do that for the man. We did that for the man. Y'all did that for the man, wasn't me. Man had the man had that done to me. Yeah. By us, for us, no justice, no peace. I'm just saying, because uh, it's time for y'all to wake up, and we ain't got to rise to fall. We can rise and take it all, baby. I mean that, because uh, some little tenement flats that I'm sure are about to go bankrupt. We couldn't afford to pay them in the first place. Now that this corona thing is hit, we definitely can't afford to give them jack. And the government already said, we don't have to give them nothing because there ain't nothing going on but the rent, baby. And if I ain't got to give it to you, well, I just owe you later, right? Oh, yeah. Keep the poor people poor. So when things get back to snapping, these other people get back to macking the system and milking the system and they get theirs and they got everything they need and their electric is on and their their water's on and their rent's paid. Well, we are way behind. Way behind. So, stay. Stay way behind. This is a good time. This is a real good time. This ain't no rent strike. This just happened to be the way it was going on at the time. We can make this shit work for our own selves if we play it right. I didn't plan it like that. It just happened like that. 
Mr. Yang just happened to go out of business and I saw the sign said for rent. And I figured, well, shit, I used to work over there for Mr. Yang. I know how to run that business there, you know. And uh, it ain't just Mr. Yang. Sometimes it's Mr. Uh, uh, Swashkoffs and uh, and uh, Chip. Chablinamitches and uh, and uh, names you can't never pronounce, you know. Uh, 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 but they signed the check. He say, "Well, that Mister Swisher, uh, so you know, I I don't know. We just call him by his first name, you know. He uses his initials a lot, you know. But he ain't got no nice, common, easy name like Smith or Jones, you know. Them good old slave owner names. He don't have none of them." And the show ain't got lightning. Cause lightning is a bowl of lightning to wake you up. 